Okay, there are three goalkeepers, six backs, four forwards available for selection on a six-man team. How many different teams can be selected if each team has a goalkeeper, three backs and two forwards? Three choose one for the goalkeepers. Multiply by six backs, choose three. Multiply by four forwards, choose two. And you should get 360 when you put all that into the calculator. Okay. Uh, question 16. All right. Five points are marked on the plane. No three of them are collinear. So you have a A, B, C, D, E. What collinear means is that I can't put three of them on the same line as each other. So, no three of them are collinear, which means when I draw a line, I'll only ever go through two of them, not three of them. That's basically the question. Okay. So, how many different triangles can be formed using these points as vertices? Well, to make a triangle, you need to choose three corners. So, that to me would mean five, five corners to choose from, choose three, which would be ten different triangles. So that would be a triangle. That would be a triangle, and apparently I can make uh, I can make ten of them, which I'm not going to do because it'll hurt my head. But uh, yeah, that's that's what they use it for. Okay. Now, two of the five points are labelled x and y respectively. So let's change those two there. Just because I'm a bit pedantic, I'll call that b. All right. Two of the five points are labelled X and Y respectively. How many of the above triangles have X, Y as a side? Well, X, Y has to be two of the points you've chosen. That leaves one point left over to choose. You did have five points to choose from, but you chose X and Y already. That leaves three points left over. And 3C1 should be three of the triangles. Okay, good. Okay, let's move on to 18 if it's here. Next page. Ah, 18, there we are. Let's keep going. Now, nine friends, including Anne and Barry, wish to go to a show, but only five tickets are available. In how many ways can the group of five be selected if both Anne and Barry are included? Nine friends, Anne and Barry. Five tickets. Okay. Anne and Barry have to go. That means you've already chosen two of your tickets. That means you have three tickets left over. It means you've also chosen two of the friends, which leaves seven friends for three positions. Seven friends, seven C3, 35 if Anne and Barry are both included. Either Anne or Barry, but not both. Okay. Have a suggestion for 18 part two. Here'd be my suggestion. Shh. Total. Total takeaway, both are going. If you, take, if you get the total and you take away the amount of ways both of them are going, then what's left is only one of them is going. Is that okay? Oh, wait. Forgot. Minus. None of them going. What does that leave over then? So, total number of ways. Take away the number of ways both of them are going. Take away the number of ways none of them are going. And what that should leave over is the number of ways one of them is going. Okay, so let's, let's do this. What's your total, lads? Nine people choose five tickets. Both are going. I think we already did that, didn't we? What did we do earlier? Seven choose three. 
None of them are going. You're not allowed to choose Anne and Barry. So what's that? Seven people choose. Five. And we'll get an answer for that now. Just let me use my calculator. I did it a different way than the solutions. Hope it comes out the same way. Seventy? Yeah. Seventy ways. How many people did uh, Anne only, it ended Barry only and worked them out separately? That will also work. That will also work as well. Another member of the group is called Claire. In how many ways can the group of five be selected given that at least one of Anne, Barry and Claire must be included? <sighs> yes. Yeah. I, I take it we're still on nine members. It's just that we know what the new member is called. Okay. I'm going to stick with my current system. What's my current system? At least one of them must be included. All right. Well, why don't I just do uh, total takeaway? None of them are going. Would that make sense to you? So, the three of them could be going, two of them could be going, or one of them could be going. So for me, that's the total number of combinations, take away the amount of ways none of them are going. So how do I make none of them go? So there's nine people, but I'm not allowed to choose Anne, Barry, or Claire. So how many people is that left over? Six people choose. Five, and when you throw all that into the calculator, you'll get 120 ways. Okay, Ben. Is my language now? This choose function, okay? As an example, uh, as an example, a choose three. Believe it or not, a choose three is the same number as what? Can anybody tell me? What's A take away 3? 8 choose 3 is the same as 8 choose 5. You can check that out in your calculator if you want. 8 choose 5. Same thing as 8 choose 3. Okay with that? Now it comes really obvious when, when, you, use, when you use the... Uh, this is the formula for the choose system, okay? So imagine I did 8 choose 3. You okay with that? This would be A factorial. This one here would be 3 factorial. And then what's A take away 3? 8 take away 3? That would be 5 factorial. So it would be A factorial over 3 factorial by 5 factorial. Okay with that? Now, instead of doing 8 choose 3, what happens if I did 8 choose 5? What would that mean? It would be A factorial divided by 5 factorial, then, and then 3 factorial. And see the way it's, a, it's the same thing. Does that kill you guys? Alright, next thing. Can anybody tell me... I'm oh, sorry, leave that there. Can anybody tell me what is a... What is A factorial divided by 6 factorial? really quickly in your head. Anybody know? Without using the calculator? Go on. Co should come fairly obvious. What is it? Just 8 multiplied by... 8 multiplied by 7. Would you agree with that? Alright. Can anybody tell me what would n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial b. What is n factorial? It's n, same way it was 8, and then what happens after 8? You go down one, don't you? So it will be n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 
all the way down, isn't it? All the way down to the number 1. And what would n minus 2 factorial be? Sorry. Womp, womp, womp. Right. Is everybody happy with that? What would cancel there? What cancels? n minus 2 downwards. And what's left on top? n times n minus 1. Is that okay? So, when we go to do these questions up here, what we're looking at doing is this. So, uh, I'll take the middle one. Everybody see this one here? Use, use the rules. That's n, that's 2, and that's n minus 2. Everybody agree with that? n factorial, 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial. Now, what's the difference between n factorial and n minus 2 factorial? Can anybody tell me? So, n factorial is n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, all the way back down to 1, which is essentially n minus 2 factorial. So, what happens to 2 of them? Cancel each other off. And what's left over then? n times n minus 1 on top and underneath. What's 2 factorial? 2. And that will equal our answer of 45. Multiply it out. You get n squared minus n equals 90. Just bear with me for a second, lads. I know we're running out of time. And then what we should get is it has to be a positive answer. Can't be negative. So... There is our, it's n equals 10. So for tonight, uh, the next exercise is so easy, right? So for tonight, I want you to do 21, 20, and 19 on exercise, is it uh, 5.2? Then I want you to go to exercise 5.3, which is basically the same exercise as the junior cert book, okay? And you are going to get as far down. You're going to do all the odds down to 19. It, they're that easy. Okay? Odds to 19. Is that alright with you guys?